In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 1937 series of banknotes. I will be showing you guys the $1 through $5 bills as I have those, but I will also be showing the book value for the remaining $10 through $1,000 notes. The $1 bill is a lovely green color and it has two red serial numbers that really pop out. It features His Majesty King George VI and it is signed by Coin and Towers. There are three possible signature combinations for this bill, either Osborne Towers, Gordon Towers, or Coin Towers. The back of this note didn't quite get as much attention as the front, but it's still a lovely design. It does lack that black and red color that is present on the front, but it does have a lovely portrait of an allegory for agriculture. Here are the book prices for the 1937 $1 bills. Mine is K over N, so it's going to be in the A over N to U over N prefix range, and in EF to AU kind of condition, it's worth $25 to $45. Moving on to the $2 note, there are some similarities and some differences to the $1 note. You'll notice that the florets are a little bit smaller on this note, and the color is a reddish brown. It does have the same three possible signature combinations, Osborne Towers, Gordon Towers, and Coin Towers. And it also features the exact same portrait of His Majesty King George VI. The back of the note is slightly different, but still lacks that color, the black and the red like the front does, and it has an allegory for harvest this time. If you look on the top left, you'll see a little green dot up here. This is not a stain, and it's actually an intentional security feature meant to prevent counterfeiting. The book value for the $2 bill is quite similar to the $1 bill, so it's in the AR to KR range, and it's going to be worth about uh, $50 in the VF condition, which is pretty good. Uh, as you can see, again, the earlier releases are a little bit more expensive, and they get very expensive in the high grades. This is the $5 bill in this series. It is a little bit more worn than the other two, but that's simply because it's a lot harder to get nice examples of the higher denomination bills. Getting above the five, I don't have any because they're quite hard to get. You'll notice it has the same portrait of King George VI, these little blue dots, the red serial numbers, all the same features. The florets are a little bit different on this one as they are for all denominations. This one is also signed by Coin Towers and has the same three possible signature combination, Osborne Towers, Coin Towers, Gordon Towers. And on the other side of the bill, we have an allegory for electrical power with a hydroelectric dam in the background. It's still a nice design, but it does lack that black and red that the other side has. And here are the book values for the $5 bills. So again, first kind of editions are the most expensive. And then getting on to the later ones, they're about the same price. So mine's about an F, $35 is, is pretty good price. The $10 bill and up, I'm going to have to use the book's example on these. So the florets here are a little bit different as with all the other ones. Still the same portrait. Your signature combinations are the exact same three ones. Coin Towers, Gordon Towers, uh, Osborne Towers, same three ones. And let's move on to the back. The back of the bill, just like the other ones, lacks that black and red, but it does have that lovely purple color. And this one has a uh, transportation allegory. Here are your prices for those. Z over D is going to be a rare type, quite expensive. M over T seems to be a little bit more expensive, but not much. And of course, the first first uh, ones to come out are quite expensive. Here's the $20 bill. I'm again using the book's example. It's, it's quite a lovely design with the nice green. Our notes today are more of a vibrant green. This one's kind of an olive green, which is quite different. I like it. Uh, so same signature combinations as before. Again, the different florets, that's kind of a security feature. Looking at the back of this one, we have a fertility allegory. And it's got the different florets, as all of them do. Missing the black, missing the red, but still lovely design. So again, for the prices for these, first print's going to be quite rare, and then they get lower prices as you go along, and they're quite expensive getting into the high grades now. 110 80, 90 for the uh, EF, whereas the one was only about uh, 20, 30, something like that. Uh, so I almost got my hands on one of these, but it ended up being sold to someone else. Now the $50 bill, it is the same orange color as our $50 bill is today. It's quite a nice design, same thing with the red, I love that low serial number there, with the uh, red serial numbers and the black outlines. And this is what the back looks like. So this one has a modern inventions allegory. So you've got like symbols of, as they say, radio broadcasting. It's, it's quite a nice design, still lacking the black and the red, but you're not gonna really see the back of the bill. 
here's the prices for these. These are very, very expensive. So your first edition is gonna be massive amounts of money. Your B over H, uh, what are the signatures here? So Gordon Towers B over H is gonna be your elite, most common one. So that's gonna be the one you're gonna wanna get. Coin Towers is a bit more expensive, but in the low grades, it's gonna be around the same price. Here's the $100 note. It's the same kind of color scheme as today with the browns, the red uh, serial numbers as the notes before, but this one does have a change. It has Sir Johnny MacDonald in place of King George VI. The back of the note still lacking that black and red color. Uh, it shows a commerce and industry allegory, as they say right here. And the prices for these are still very expensive for the high notes. So your first edition, A over J, 70,000 printed, quite expensive. B over J, and there's two types here. So you got your two signature combinations. Gordon Towers B over J is going to be the cheapest. And Coin Towers B over J is still kind of the same price, but it gets more expensive on the high end. Here's the last bill in the series, the $1,000 note. They have a nice low note here. That's gonna bring some extra value for this note. This one again has a different portrait. Rather than having George VI, we have Sir Wilfred Laurier, who has been downgraded to the $5 bill, but he will be getting a higher bill in the next uh, vertical series, so that's good. And on the back of this one, we have a security allegory, as they say right here, and the nice salmon pink color again, which was present up until they got rid of the $1,000 bill in the 1990s, early 2000s. And here's your price for one of them. There were only 15,000 made, so they are very expensive. A nice grade one's gonna be 10 to $13,000. This concludes the video on these 1937 series notes. I hope to get another few notes in this series, maybe the 10 and the 20 within the next few months. That would be very nice. And in the next video, I will cover these 1954 notes.